Okay, here's my squirrel Coco. I'm gonna see if she'll. That's it, I got no more. All right, there you go. And that's the morning with our squirrel. Here's the nice flowers. She's going to run off and hide them. This has been like 14 or 15 almonds we've given her. The yard's looking good. Yeah, we got some Clyde's donuts up here. I got my coffee cup, about empty. Eye drops, yeah, that's what happens when you get old. Don't watch that screen too much. We got some almonds from Aldi's. I'll bet she'll come back around the corner in a minute, but I know she's going over by the neighbor's house now. She's by the bottom of his truck, if you can see that. No hummingbirds today. I don't know. I put the food out late. I had to it and wash it. Yeah, but here is uh, our morning adventure. We're just hanging out and doing our thing today. It's been raining for two days. We don't have any big plans. Last week, though, I got to say, when we did the uh, Treasure Days of Western Springs, Illinois, uh, right now... The total is up to, I think, like 450 bucks. Uh, but we did get something. Uh, someone gave us a uh, table. We sold that. That wasn't included. But as far as like hustle money for the weekend, just like running around, uh, finding and flipping, we made a good amount of cash. Probably about 450. Uh, I still have to sell the copper, but the anticipated uh, sale of it should bring a total of uh, 450 when you add everything up plus I have to go back to disc replay <coughs> a couple miles away and uh, see if they'll take the disc that we have I did get 50 bucks for the other uh, compact discs uh, there was a bunch like you know uh, Led Zeppelin Bob Seger Slayer ACDC uh, Van Halen a bunch of them I got uh, the Ramones what else? Uh, Pearl Jam, Vitalogy, all kind of like, just like Melissa Etheridge and Tori Amos, and, but they, they were like in immaculate, immaculate shape. And at first I was just going to donate them to the uh, thrift store, because I didn't want to see them go into the garbage or a landfill by any means. Uh, I knew someone would love them, and uh, well, I made some, I thought about it, I'm like, wait, why don't I just try to, you know, sell them first, put them on offer up, and I had, of course, nothing. Uh, but I brought them to this disc replay. Now, granted, they were a little bit shrewd. It was like, I think, 50 cents to a dollar on each disc, but it was worth it because I'm gonna donate the things anyway, and I made, I walked out of there with 50 bucks in my pocket, and uh, I still have half the discs. So I'm thinking if I get another, like, 20 or 30 bucks, I don't care. If I gotta donate the rest of them, fine. But uh, I don't want a bunch of compact discs around my house. As I said, we've had a, you know, uh, a lot to do with getting rid of stuff in the house and purging. So these discs, it's only like adding the stuff that we've already gotten rid of. Uh, and we like our space. We like having, you know, space in the house. And being less cluttered is a great thing. I quote Henry David Thoreau, after a while, your possessions end up possessing you. So declutter and uh, make some money while you're doing it too. I don't know if we're going to do anything huge this weekend. I might do some work in the garage cleaning up the bikes. I, uh, I'm giving one of the bikes, uh, the Murray, the brown one, that I don't like to a co-worker, a good friend of mine. And uh, <clears throat> she saw a picture of it. She was like, oh, my God, i got to have this bike. I'll give you the $45 for it. And I was like, to you, buy me some tacos and we're good. Uh, my friends, I usually like, if, you know, if I don't have anything into it, I'm not going to charge them anything. Uh, I got the gas and the time going over there, but she'll love it and she does ride. I did give her husband a Schwinn that I found. They're 35 uh, years I've known uh, Angel, so I didn't feel, you know, it was a nice bike and I almost wanted it for myself, but I know her husband needed to get on that bike, get do some riding, get healthy, get back in shape, and uh, not that he was in bad shape, but it's good for your cardio and it's good to get you out and about and it's a beautiful Schwinn, uh, I believe it had, I think it's a seven speed, 
it had the big comfortable seat beach cruiser big old you know beach tires uh, you know devo handlebars and uh had some bling had american bell on there from schwinn and uh so yeah but thanks hit the like subscribe have a great weekend we'll talk to you soon be safe out there good morning okay.